John, how disappointing was that result? Yeah, I'm uh, hugely, hugely disappointing. I think we, um, again, I'm, I'm coming away from the game there, scratching my head in, as to how we haven't uh, won the game and certainly to how as how we've lost the game. Uh, particularly because I thought we put in a really good performance for 50 minutes. We we got the goal, uh, and I thought at that point that's probably one of the more dominant performances of the season, particularly away from home against a really difficult side to play against. And it was just five minutes of absolute madness that, that cost us. We we dwelt on the ball a couple of times in our own box, really really uncharacteristic of the of the players that did it as well, and we got punished for it. And um, you know after that I thought response was really good. We we created a fair bit and didn't put the ball in the back of the net. So. Yeah, I mean, the result today is, is hugely disappointing. You came out from half-time with real purpose, got a deserved goal, so how disappointing is it you couldn't build on that momentum? Yeah, I mean, that's what we need to do a lot better at. If we want to do anything in the league this season, then you can't afford to give your opponents a leg up in a game. And the only way we, I suppose, would have sort of earned ourselves enough grace to be able to do that is if we'd have been a bit more clinical in the first half. We had so many one-on-ones and opportunities to get at their back three, and you know we did it really well up until the... The penalty box and I thought we were just a little bit sloppy in the final third creativity wasn't quite there and that was what we were asking for in the in the second half that was the big thing we wanted to um, step on ourselves from um, in terms of improvement from the first half and uh, you know we, we came out and obviously did it getting the goal um, but yeah uh, it's very very difficult to sort of pick the bones out of it because I, I haven't really seen that from from us so far this season where we make those those errors um, most of the time I think when we've when we've lost games, I'm sort of coming here thinking, OK, uh, I, can, I can understand why we've done it. Just a couple of really basic errors have cost us. Aside from that five minutes of chaos, what did you make of the performance? I actually thought the performance was really good up until we scored the first goal. And we, we controlled the game, we, we were dominant, we put ourselves in some really good positions in the first half. I, I, I don't know if I've just said there, but I was disappointed with our, um, not necessarily our finishing, but um, the opportunities that we we got ourselves into the position we got ourselves into we didn't end up getting high quality shots and, and we really could do with the players that we have on the pitch and then after we went 2-1 down we responded really well uh, I thought we, we still looked quite likely to score we created chances quite a few set pieces and just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net performance wise I, I don't have an issue with today I think we've we've performed worse than that in one games I thought we played well today but we, we can't afford to make decisions like that and, and not you know, and expect anything other than what we got there were two penalty shouts during the game, one in the first half, one really late on as well. What, what was your view of those? Well, I thought there were three. So there was the one on Abu where, bizarrely, Abu's ended up getting booked, which is just so very, very strange. Um, there was actually one um, just before that where uh, the referees played advantage and Abu's got into the box and he's just been shoved over the advertising hoardings. The referee inexplicably gives a corner. The Cheltenham player didn't touch it, but I think he gives a corner because he knows it's a penalty. Um, and then, yeah, the, the penalty shout, I think, in the box that we're never going to get it. Colby gets mauled every week and, and we don't get a huge amount. So um, I think that we're disappointed with that. And obviously the reaction after the, the game um, probably tells you everything. But that wasn't the reason that we lost the game. We, we lost the game because of those mad five minutes and because of what we did there. Like you said, responded well to those two goals, continued to dominate the game late on as well, but was it just a case of, of things not falling for us towards towards that spell of the game? Yeah, nothing nothing quite fell for us, but we you know, we, we can't wait for things to fall for us. We've got to be the ones that go and make things happen. We've got to be the ones that are front foot and put the ball in the back of the net. Uh, otherwise, that happens. You come away from places like this without um, without taking three points. Should have really taken three points today. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I replay the game in my head and, um, and don't see a scenario where we don't win the game. Uh, so, yeah, we, we have to make sure we're better ourselves. Just finally, no Alex Robertson in the squad today. What's the situation there? Uh, he felt his hamstring in training on Thursday, so he's um, back off to Man City for a scan. You'll get the scan Monday and we'll get the results and see what the severity of that is.